Hello and welcome to Colour Marginal Media Enterprises. My name is Luke, also known as Tianary, and in this tutorial I am going to be showing you how to get started with Wakes, which will allow you to create GUI applications in Hakes and WX widgets. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as mentioned in the introductory video what we're going to be taking a look at is wakes so that we can create our very own GUI applications using hakes and WX widgets so in this tutorial it's just going to be uh, getting started and being able to produce a window onto the screen so first of all before we begin the very first thing that you probably want to do is download the wakes hakeslib library so you type in hakeslib install wakes once you've done that you'll then be able to get started so once you've done that what you will probably want to do is cd over to your desktop or whatever is your favorite program or whatever folder you want to put your project in and then what you want to do is create a folder in that desktop so you can do make dear mk dear whatever folder it is i've already got one set up which is rpg fl editor eventually i'll create an editor using wakes um, to go along with our rpg fl tutorial for openfl so it's sort of going to be a two-way tutorial type thing um, so first of all before we move on to actually getting into the code first of all we want to set up our environment so first of all we want to in the root of our folder whatever folder you have create a file called build.bat and in that folder file even you want to be able to locate a, a directory for where the source code is. So that's the dash CP. That's what the dash CP is. It takes a look into that directory and it takes a look at the files, the .hx files. We also want to include what library we want to build with. So that's why we've got this dash lib here followed by wakes, which is the name of the library that we want to include. Dash main. So we want to include the main entry point, which in this case is going to be the main class function here or the file. And I believe it's actually the file that it follows. It might also be the class. I'm not actually 100% sure on that one. Um, and then dash CPP which is basically the output folder that we want to produce our information in. So as you can see, I've already done some stuff with it so far, but for the time being, we're just gonna leave that. And once you've done that, I also want to show you something else which will come in handy. So once you've done that, save that, and go back into your folder so in windows if you're using windows then you want then you want to open this if you're using linux then unfortunately i cannot help you with this part um, but basically what we want to do is be able to redirect the standard output and error to a file so that we can read it because sometimes if we come up with any errors when we're building and we don't know that then sometimes the batch file it will open the command prompt will open and then it will close almost instantly and you can't read what the error was so what we want to do is be able to produce an output file for that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say build.bat followed by output.log so as you can see I've put in the greater than sign output.log and then I want to type in 2 greater than ampersand 1 and what that will do is it will also include the standard error as well so if I press enter on that it's going to produce an error and it's also going to produce this file here so everything that we do 
is going to include this. So now when we take a look at this, we can see that it has produced this file here that we can read and see any errors. So now that we've got that bit out of the way, we can go back into our main.hx and actually do some code. So in this particular tutorial, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at how to display a frame. Now, frame and wakes is basically a form. If you come from win, a WinForms background like I do, then a frame is practically a form. So firstly, what I want to do is I want to be able to display that frame. In order to do that, I need to first import wx.app. Now that app contains a variety of functions, one of which is boot. So what I want to do is I want to call that boot function and that takes a function parameter. So I'm just going to type in function here and in here, I'm just going to say new main, like that. Close that off. I'm just going to save that. Okay, so now let's actually get a frame onto our screen and see what's going on. So, what I'm going to do is private var mainframe. That's going to be a frame, as you probably imagine. And then what I'm going to do is mainframe, and that's going to equal a new. Wait, is it? Is it new frame or frame create? Let's take a look. Let's take a quick look. Frame, frame. Where are you? Frame dot hx. Yeah, we probably want the create ones. Okay, so if we go back here. No, I do not want to load from disk. Mainframe is equal to frame dot create. No, nope, God, no, 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 no. So the first parameter takes a window because there's going to be no parent to this frame. We're just going to leave that as null. The second parameter, if we take a look, is an ID. So I'm going to set that ID to zero. We want a title of the frame, so in this case it's going to be a window called RPGFL Editor. So I'm going to put that in there. Let's see. There's also a position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going that's an anon an anon an anonymous function. So in here I'm just going to type in x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. And there's also a size as well, oh. which is this here. So that takes a width and a height. So let's specify that. So we're going to say a width is going to be equal to 800 and a height of 600 pixels. And then close that off. Now there is another parameter at the end, which is a style. Now we can actually specify what styles we want, but for the time being, we're just going to leave that alone. So once we've created our frame, we want to be able to show it. How do we do that? So if you go down here, what we want to do is we want to do app dot set top window. And we want to include our main frame. Once we've done that, we want to say main frame dot show shown is equal to true okay so let's save that let's go to our command prompt I'm gonna press up on my keyboard and I'm gonna press enter let it do what it needs to do eventually there we go. So let's take a, look, take a look at the output log. Okay, it looks like it's produced something. So let's go back into our folder. Let's go to bin, windows, and let's double click on main.exe and see what the output is. Okay, so here we are. We have our fir very first window up, as you can see. 
so yeah that is how you produce a frame and display it under the screen so there are a variety of different styles that you can include but I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and in the next tutorial we will be taking a look at how to produce a menu bar so once again thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time